He may not head up Microsoft anymore, but Bill Gates' voice remains a powerful one in the tech world. So when he appeared to take the FBI side in its battle with Apple over phone encryption, people took notice. You shouldn't call the access some special thing. It's no different than, you know, should have anybody ever been able to tell the phone company to get information. Bank records, should anybody be able to get it at bank records? There's no, there's no difference between information. Faced with headlines that he backed the FBI, Gates sought to clarify his position. That balance, clearly the government's taken information historically and used it in ways that we didn't expect, going all the way back, say, to uh, the FBI under J. Edgar Hoover. The courts are going to decide this. It's been a week since Apple went public over its fight with the FBI to access the locked phone of Saeed Farouk. He was one of the shooters that killed 14 people in San Bernardino, California in December. The tech giant says the FBI wanted to re-engineer Farouk's phone to gain access. In effect, Apple lawyer Ted Olson says opening a back door that would set a dangerous precedent. There's nothing to stop this government or another government from doing the same thing tomorrow or the next day or next week. The FBI says it's just a one-time request. But in court today, Apple says it's also fighting the government on 14 other devices. And the argument that this, just do it once, just uh, violate your principles this one time, you'll never hear from us again, it is totally bogus. Apple has until Friday to file its opposition. Meanwhile, some families of the San Bernardino victims say they'll file their own papers in court in support of the FBI. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.